Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Fitz Rupecast featuring Dawn of War 2 Retribution. Got a great solo one on one game here for you today. Uh, and in case you hadn't noticed, I uploaded a nice little series of videos this last uh, weekend from Curse Community Game Night event, which is very cool. Uh, lots of props to him for setting that up and bringing out so many people. That was lots of fun. I'll keep you guys updated on when those happen again. But uh, it was just some King of the Hill and people hanging out, playing whatever games. Uh, I have a few two-on-two -two games, and then I hopped in and started casting some of those King of the Hill matches as well. So that was lots of fun. Check those out. There are, of course, uh, recordings taken from my live stream. So the audio is a bit wonky, unfortunately. I wasn't quite able to uh, get that where I wanted it, but I didn't want to spend too much time uh, trying to edit and mess with the audio on those videos. So check those out there, lots of fun. Anyways, uh, on the game today, you can see we've got an Eldar Warp Gate hanging out over there past the biomass pools of Leviathan Hive. And a special treat, because our Warlock player today is none other than Umpire. And I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Umpire. Uh, for those of you who that haven't been around the community too long, he hasn't played in quite some time. But he's pretty much the star Warlock player uh, of legend. Mr. Umpire right here, so we'll get to see him in action. He hasn't played in a while, and he posted a replay saying that he's back. I don't even think he's played since Retribution. He mentioned in the replay he wasn't familiar with Imperial Guard, who he is fighting today. This is Stoned Elf Boy over here leading the Commissar. Of course, his sword is out and ready for action. Nothing that a Commissar likes better than whacking things with his sword. So anyways, here's Umpire. Versus Stone to Elfboy, let's get this game on the road. Of course, we are on Leviathan Hive. Pretty straightforward map. We're not going to see any tricky cap patterns right here. It's just the four resources in front of each player's base, plus a victory point. So nothing tricky there. The only two contested points you really have are this VP and this power node in the center. Everything else is kind of nice and clustered. Have that uh, kind of wreck point way out here in the distance for this side, but that's about it. Everything's pretty close together. Just going to see uh, some solid pushes kind of just blasting through the middle and trying to hit each other's power through the beginning of this map generally. And uh, other than that, we'll see how the Warlock faces off against the Commissar. They're both kind of uh, those kind of utility melee heroes that aren't necessarily big and tanky, but they have uh, generally a lot of cool abilities and support stuff going on for them. So, uh, of course, we'll see how that goes out. The Warlock's dashing across... End of the center of the map, probably going to try to interrupt some captures here. And uh, of course, same thing goes for that Sentinel. Of course, the Sentinel is going to make short work of these Guardians. And uh, Umpire going with a double Guardian build. We'll have to see what else he brings onto the field. Meanwhile, Stone Elf Boy trying to make sure he gets that cap. He does get it. And uh, oh, a nice looking special attack from that Warlock, knocking that whole squad down to the ground. And of course, they're going to have to fall back and get out of there. Same thing it looks like happened over here with this Sentinel. And of course, uh, that's one of the options you have with that Sentinel, of course, is to either push some early map control and get some nice decaps, especially on these wreck points that are way out far, or uh, or you can just use it to lead the charge with your army and have just a full-on early push. But you can see Stone Elf Boy decided to use it as map control. Uh, you always have the urge to just kind of keep it around and use it to spam stomps on uh, any kind of melee stuff. But uh, anyways, looks like both players have managed to... to uh, decap uh, each other's natural wreck points. And meanwhile, the Commissar is on the other side of the field, harassing some Guardians as well. And uh, you can see Umpire went for the good old two generator into Shuriken weapon team right there. Uh, and that's really why he was using that uh, Warlock so offensively right there. It was really to just tie up some Guardians and make sure they don't get a lot of map control because with only the two Guardian squads, uh, that first engagement's generally pretty tricky if you can't really force an engagement with your Warlock. With that bottom, enough time to pull out the Shuriken weapon team and bring it up onto the field. You see, you see now he's going to try to use these Guardians to pull that Shuriken back, or sorry, pull the Sentinel back into the Shuriken, not the other way around. So, uh, of course, this Shuriken's going to creep up a little bit and try to do some damage, try to get in a good position to uh, take this Commissar and Sentinel out right here. But it looks like uh, it is going to evade the clutches and uh, escape there relatively unscathed. And the Commissar Lord, of course, with his power sword upgraded now, will give him that sort of uh, Force Commander-esque battle cry that lets him chain all his special attacks in a little combo right there and just knock everything to the ground for a little while. 
So meanwhile, uh, Umpire had to kind of send his Warlock back up top. That's generally how you'll see the Warlock played uh, in these earlier matches is uh, until it gets later on when the Warlock has some more gear and abilities, he'll just be running around, capping the map, using that fleet of foot, and uh, trying to engage capping squads around and not really fighting with the entirety of the Eldar army too much right yet. So Shuriken finding itself a bit out of position here with the Sentinel Guardsmen and Commissar moving in on it. Oh, and you can see the Guardsmen have been upgraded with Flamers, so we're probably going to be seeing a power push here by Stoned Elf Boy. Uh, on this fully upgraded gen farm right now, so Umpire's really going to need to try to prevent this from happening as he's already in a bit of a bit behind on map control. He doesn't want to be behind on tech as well, especially against Imperial Guard, who can bring those bring that Chimera onto the field and really just take over the map if they're not ready for it. So you can see the Shuriken's down a couple members, but isn't trying to retreat quite yet, doing everything in its power to try to bring it onto the field here. Warlock's been upgraded with his Immolator Blade. Another nice looking special attack, just rocking all those Guardians. And uh, the Commissar, meanwhile, is trying to get that decap on the power, uh, which it looks like he is going to do that. Warlock's not going to be able to deal with him too much right now. And away he goes after knocking out that capture on the power. So uh, that's going to put Umpire a little bit behind. Uh, neither player spent too much power. Uh, Umpire did have a full gen farm while... Uh, while Stoned Elf Boy was just sitting on two generators. So uh, probably going to be looking a little bit ahead uh, for Stoned Elf Boy right now. And that Sentinel's still doing some nice looking decap. Of course, whenever that Sentinel isn't shooting up Guardians, it's going to be kept decapping points. It's a very quick unit, great for map control. Uh, dies pretty quickly though, so you really just want to use it for harass and cap. Harass and cap, that's all you need to do, especially against... Uh, these Eldar Guardians, which are so expensive. Uh, Umpire should really upgrade some battle equipment. Oh, he has upgraded battle equipment on one of the squads. And uh, if he can take out that Sentinel, he can really stop a lot of the bleed. Because, of course, those Guardians cost 30 wreck apiece to reinforce. And uh, you need to take out quite a few Guardsmen to make that worth even losing a single Guardian for every engagement. So, meanwhile, Stoned Elf Boy is charging ahead on up the tech ladder to tier 2 and uh, both players sitting on a nice pile of wreck. Uh, umpire looks like he's just kind of holding out trying to trying to hold out until he can get to tier 2 himself. So Not worrying about bringing any more there. squads onto the field now that he has his three guardsmen already. It's pretty much the build you see. You either see the double double guardsmen in the shuriken or you'll see triple shuriken or sorry triple guardsmen with some rangers to kind of take out that sentinel. So we just saw some nice little uh, trying to get some retreat kills on there. We saw a pretty uh, not quite spot on grenade. Took out quite a few guardsmen and an emulate in the retreat path as well, which didn't quite manage to do anything. But a good attempt nonetheless. Always good to try to get those retreat kills whenever you can, especially if you're behind on the wreck, which uh, Umpire has plenty of right now. But uh, as those guardians tend to bleed a bit more, you certainly don't want to be on the receiving side of that. So the Triple Guardsmen now enforce with their Warlock, and they do a pretty deceiving amount of damage uh, once they're all grouped up like this. And you can see the Warlock and Commissar just having kind of an epic battle right in the middle of this big old firefight right here. Commissar getting very low, uh, sitting with 4 HP. Oh, and oh, the Destructor doesn't quite hit, and the Warlock has the fallback. Probably should just use that Destructor on the Guardsmen instead. But uh, trying to nail that kill on that Commissar Lord, but not quite getting it. Meanwhile, we can see these three Guardians uh, just pouring fire into this Guardsman squad right now. You can see he retargeted off the Sentinel with both Guardsman squads there. Uh, wasn't going to make much of a difference. And uh, so instead he just decides, oh, we got Rockets. Oh, no. Rockets just devastating those triple guardsmen right there. Uh, just a single member left on this squad. Two left on this one. Uh, this one gets out with all members, but very injured. Perfect timing. All those Guardians were kind of low HP, and the Rockets upgraded just in time while they were sitting behind that green cover. Those three Rockets just came in, and that first volley took out about five or so Guardsmen right there. So excellent timing on that. You don't often see, actually, the Rocket upgrade on the Sentinel. Uh, actually, it's uncommon to see the Sentinels last too long in Tier 2 at all, so it's always kind of a risky investment to buy those Rockets. They do cost 40 power. 
But uh, after getting the harass and the decap on uh, umpire's power node, Stone Elf Boy was not really hesitating to uh, spend a little extra and pretty much just flat out uh, deny that power bash attempt right there by the three Guardian squads. So that shuriken moving up a bit too close there, getting a little brazen. Took a volley of rockets, but did manage to scare off that sentinel. And the warlock now moving out on his own. Uh, you can see he bought himself a squad of catechins, already getting the demolition man on them, and pulling out a chimera, so just not hesitating to buy all kinds of stuff in tier 2 right now. Uh, meanwhile, umpires just hit there himself. Uh, I'm not sure what he's saving up for, possibly a, uh, probably not Wraith Guard at or this point, maybe a Falcon or a, uh, a Wraith Lord. So you can see the Shuriken sitting up front and uh, Umpire's already gone ahead and upgraded Warlock on all three of these Guardian squads. That's going to make all three of those much more potent, uh, reduces their incoming damage and of course gives them the Embolden ability as well. So there they are, pouring fire into that Catechin squad, already taken out a couple miles. They do want to spread out though, as you can see those rockets from that Sentinel are going to be causing some serious hurt, although those Catechins took quite a lot of damage sitting there trying to wait and get that old Reliable off on the Shuriken team. It ultimately was for naught because it did manage to set back up and force off that Commissar Lord. Meanwhile the Warlock getting forced off by that Chimera on the bottom side of the map. Oh no! Three more Guardians getting blasted away by those by those Sentinel rockets. Uh, really not just not anything to do about that. Oh and there's the Stomp. You kind of tend to forget about that Stomp when it gets tier 2, you see the Sentinel and you just kind of think of the rockets and forget that it still has that invaluable stomp right there, uh, which stunned both of those Guardian squads. Uh, Plasma getting upgraded on these Guardians, which I think was kind of a curious choice. The Eldar really don't have any heavy infantry on the field that that would take advantage of. Probably would have been better to get the Commissar at this point than uh, spending that power and wreck on the Plasma Rifles. So we saw another nice retreat grenade, this tenacious Guardian squad, uh, still a thorn in the side of the Sentinel, managed to force off uh, pretty much everything at this point, and uh, now going in for a little decap. Meanwhile, we have a Falcon on the field for Umpire. The Falcon's out here, and uh, of course, it's going to be a nice soft vehicle counter for this Chimera. Uh, unfortunately, though, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be enough, as I think that uh, a Guardsman squad can probably out repair the damage. That a, uh, that a Falcon does, and if not one, certainly two. But uh, with a nice looking Immolate right there and the Falcon pouring fire into that Chimera, Umpire did manage to stave off the worst of that Power Bash, uh, only losing his uh, his note, note cap right there. And uh, the Chimera is looking a bit in the hurt right now. Stoned Elf Boy sees that Falcon and is not hesitating to bring Stormtroopers on the field. And that's going to be something that Umpire really should have kept in mind when buying this Falcon. Oh, we see an anti-vehicle rocket coming in, and that's from that Sentinel. Of course, he can switch between the triple volley of anti-infantry rockets or the single-shot AV rockets as well. So he's going to have to be very... Umpire's going to have to be very careful with that Falcon, uh, especially once the Stormtroopers come onto the field. So we can see another battle between the two heroes right here in the, on this side of the map. Uh, Commissar's trying to do some damage right now, trying to get that Warlock off the field. They're both engaging each other and doing some good damage. But uh, the Warlock does fall back. Oh, and the Commissar needs to get out of there. Again, getting very low. Uh, he is going to have to relinquish control of the battlefield. Oh, Stubbornness kicking in at the very last instant and saving his life just barely. Oh, very good timing on that upgrade. Of course, Stubbornness healing him uh, more with the more infantry that are around him so you can see with all these guardsmen and stormtroopers around his HP pretty much just shot straight up there during the retreat otherwise I'm pretty sure he would have gone down so uh, now we have the anti-vehicle stormtroopers on the field and uh, umpires really gonna have to make sure to pretty much I guess babysit this Falcon with the altar because without anything to tie up those uh, those stormtroopers, that Falcon's going to be in a lot of trouble as they can just stealth on in, drop the melt bomb and make short work of any transport. Of course, Umpire doesn't have any detection on the field in the form of rangers or anything like that, so the uh, short range of those melt pistols isn't going to matter too much for uh, those stormtroopers. Uh, 
Upfire going a little headstrong here, I feel. Uh, those Guardians are going to be taking losses against these Guardsmen, and they're really just not going to do too much. A nice looking grenade on that Sentinel. Uh, but of course, there goes the stomp as soon as the Altar jumps in. She's probably going to have to get out of there. But uh, those Guardians are, of course, reinforcing off the Falcon, but that's just costing way more for Umpire than it is for Stoned Elf Boy. As you can see, these Guardsmen are just hanging out uh, while the two vehicles pour fire into that Guardsman blob. The Shuriken Weapons team kind of hanging out. Uh, of course, Umpire has been sitting on uh, this decap power node for a while. Uh, you can see on the minimap, Stoned Elf Boy sitting with a gen down on the lower power farm, but uh, ultimately not a big deal. The Stormtroopers are now in position to take out that Falcon, and it looks like Stone Elf Boy is going to move in with a little distraction from that Chimera. Draw some fire from those Guardians. There goes the Melta Bomb, and the Rifles are going to go ahead and take out that Falcon. That's a big investment to lose right now for Umpire. Umpire has been doing a good job of trying to keep those VPs from ticking away too badly. Uh, has about a 50 point advantage right now, 70 or so point at this point. But uh, that Chimera now has the freedom to move about however it pleases because Umpire just has no answer to vehicles right now without that Falcon on the field. And as we saw, just the staying power of those Guardsmen and that Chimera proving very difficult for Umpire to push off. Uh, Umpire spent a lot of rec reinforcing those Guardians, so not really able to bring anything else onto the field right now. Meanwhile, you can see the Warlock sitting on top of this improvised explosives. That's not going to do too much, of course, to a single hero. So, Stoned Elf Boy choosing not to detonate that right yet. Ready, go. Go, and meanwhile, the Chimera is moving in on the power once again. Uh, Anti-infantry rockets going down on those generators. I believe the anti-vehicle rockets do a lot more to generators, so you could switch to those right now if you wanted to. But of course, they will do a nice bit of damage to these Guardians once they move back in here. This Sentinel is, of course, level 3, been racking up all kinds of kills. Especially during that last push. Warlock's still doing some excellent harassing on the back line here. Has that, uh has been dropping emulates on guardsmen squads and things like that. And now Umpire spots those Ogrens, uh, realizing that Warlock isn't going to stand up to that. He goes ahead and falls back. Meanwhile, the two vehicles, knowing that they are uncontested right now, Stoned Elf Boy is just using them to bash power on their own. Uh, Umpire is finally bringing on a Bright Lance. He realizes that he really just needs something to, if nothing else, kind of just control the field a little bit. Even if it's not going to kill the Chimera, uh, of course, it can control part of the field and make sure that that Chimera doesn't want to go to certain locations. Always remember that a lot of people don't like Bright Lances because they don't slow and uh, they don't necessarily threaten vehicles as much on their own. Oh no, the Shuriken goes down completely to the Sentinel and the Chimera. But as I was saying, uh, Bright Lances, of course, are an excellent source of control keep those vehicles under under control. Anyways, uh, Umpire staying in a bit too long against all this down here. Looks like a Guardian squad went down. Sentinel uh, getting a stomp there on escape. Altark just barely getting away with their life there. And uh, the Ogrens coming onto the field with some brutal power right there. Taking out a guards, Guardian squad and uh, quite a few members of another squad. So Umpire was a bit distracted down there and lost the Sentinel as well. That Bright Lance now going to pour some fire into that Sentinel. Uh, it's not going to stick around and capture that point. And as soon as those Ogrens decide, they can just charge right in and make short work of that Bright Lance. Umpire not, uh, not dissuaded at all after losing that first Falcon. Apparently going to bring another one onto the field. We're going to need to be very careful in the face of these Ogrens as they are charging in right now, uh, trying to take out that Warlock. Altar jumps in at the last second, trying to do some damage here, but she's not going to be able to hold up to that on her own. She needs to dash out of there, and with her ra uh, rampant speed, of course she does. Emboldened being popped on the Guardians and actually doing some pretty reasonable damage to these Ogrens. Uh, they're kind of moving in without support right now. Really got to be careful with that as the Ogrens are extremely expensive to reinforce. And again, we're seeing that Falcon on the field once more, coming out with the support of that Bright Lance weapons team, and gonna try to probably take out this Chimera or something at this point. These 
So we can see uh, Stone to Elf Boy was sitting on a pretty uh, harsh VP disadvantage right now. Oh, but it looks like... Oh, the Commissar does go down. He stayed in a bit too long there uh, without stubbornness. Or he had stubbornness, but of course his infantry were nowhere nearby. And a nice looking mind drop on this choke point. Really uh, going to be controlling that entrance right here. Altar kind of standing around trying to get in some good damage on these guardsmen, but realizing she's still too low HP to do much of anything. Uh, Chimera looking pretty low itself right now, but of course the guardsmen will be able to get in there and do a nice patch-up job on that. So Stone Elf Boy moving into Tier 3 right now. Stormtrooper Stealth moving around, probably going to try to engage uh, this Bright Lance weapons team and allow this Chimera and Sentinel to move back up onto the field. Meanwhile, we see the Warlock kind of running around, getting caught on some mines right there while he's trying to move around. And Oh, there goes the melt up bomb. Uh, those Stormtroopers need to get engaged right now, or they're going to take out that Falcon a second time. If that Falcon goes down, that's probably going to be it for Umpire. But oh man, those Guardians and the Warlock uh, Destructor shot made short work. Oh, and an uh, Immolation right there at the end, and that's it for the Stormtrooper squad. Wow, excellent play there. Uh, perfect reaction by Umpire. He popped the Emboldens, fired a Destructor, and then dropped the Immolate in the retreat path of that Stormtrooper uh, anti-armor squad. And that was all she wrote for that one. Uh, that Falcon did get dangerously low on HP, but of course the Guardian's patching that up right now. And uh, Umpire is free to kind of move on the map once again. You can see the Altar kind of forced off this uh, Guardsman squad, which still does not have a uh, Commissar. If it had a Commissar, it could pause the retreat and then run back over to the Sentinel and the, uh, and the Chimera right now. Sentinel's still on its uh, anti-infantry rockets, so it should really switch back over to the AV rockets, which it does right there, but it's going to be taking a lot of fire. A couple grenades go down and at least force it to move, but I still don't think it's getting out of here on its own right now. That Falcon should be able to hurt it pretty badly. Although it does back up for the sake of safety. The Guardians are able to take it out. Oh no, that's a level 4 Sentinel down to a Falcon and some Guardians. Uh, that's probably a great a great feeling for um Umpire to finally take out that pesky Sentinel. I don't know how many kills that thing had racked up. But uh, between harassing the Falcon, or both Falcons, and uh, doing a crazy amount of damage to all those Guardians throughout the game. Uh, of course being a major thorn in the side. Once again, another mine drop going down, trying to uh, trying to really control this corridor. Uh, excellent use of those mine drops so far. Uh, actually, it looks like the Warp Spider is just kind of walking right through them right now. But of course, Aspect of the Warp Spider getting upgraded right now. And uh, oh, there goes the Haywire Grenade. The Bright Lance is in position, takes a single shot, and takes out that Chimera. So that's two vehicles down uh, for Stone to Elf Boy. And, oh man, it looks like a Guardian squad as well. Uh, excellent engagement here for Umpire. Wow, really just devastated Stone Elf Boy right now. Uh, both the Transport, uh, Guardsman squad, and the, of course that uh, level 4 Sentinel uh, all now off the field. You can see Stone Elf Boy down to just, just the Imperial Guardsman. And now, of course, having a Lemon Russ on the field. Uh, oh man, a mind blowing up and actually suppressing those Ogrens and preventing the Bright Lance weapons team from going down. A uh, bit of a fluke there by Stone Elf Boy. Uh, kind of walking on top of your own minds is something you never really want to do, as uh, as we can see right there. Oh, and here comes a bombing run. Of course. Oh man, look at those Guardians just get obliterated by those rockets. Here comes the second volley. Oh man, one squad just barely survived. And the Warlock of the first uh, did go down in that second volley. Oh man, Warlock may be going down. Oh, he gets a sync kill and activates the shield at 18 HP. Perfect timing. Uh, really baiting in those Ogrens to stay longer than they should have. And uh, now the Warp Spiders came back into position. And with the Falcon there, those Ogrens had no choice but to retreat. Uh, excellent timing there by Umpire. I thought that Warlock was dead for sure. I forgot he had his champion robe on. But, uh, of course, there's a Lehman Russ on the field. It has been upgraded with that Executioner Cannon. Uh, not quite sure if that was the best choice with this Falcon still on the field. Probably want to stick to the normal cannon until you can make sure there aren't any vehicles currently on the field. 
But uh, it's going to have to be very careful. Of course, these Warp Spiders have their Haywire Grenades. There's a Bright Lance and a Falcon on the field, so that Lemon Rust can go down if it's not too careful right here. So you can see that Executioner can... Oh, the Warp Spiders warp in, but it looks like... Oh, I don't think they have enough uh, energy to drop their Haywire Grenade. Oh dear, a bit of a miscalculation by Umpire. He lost quite a few of those Warp Spiders. Now that Commissar really needs to engage that uh, Bright Lance Weapons team, and he does. There he goes, and that's going to be... Uh, Oh, the Falcon's in a lot of trouble. Oh, the last final shot of that Executioner Volley sends it careening into one of the rock formations here on Leviathan Hive. And uh, that might be uh, it for Umpire. That's two Falcons that have gone down right now. Uh, he's really trying his damnedest to take out this Lehman Russ. But uh, it's not quite going to happen, I don't think. That Altark, of course, despite having uh, that heavy melee indicator, that Executioner only does power melee damage, so it's not doing any extra damage to that Lehman Rust tank. So Umpire's uh, just not even hesitating to go all in on this tank chase right now. And uh, it looks like it's going to get out of there though, it's still got uh, over 100 HP left. Oh, and Emily going down, uh, Umpire really pulling out all the stops trying to take this thing out. He feels after losing that Falcon, I'm sure that he really needs to take out this tank. But, uh, oh, there goes the repair, and it's back. Oh, Stormtrooper's doing a little unexpected damage to that Warlock, and he does go down. Oh, this could be a bit of a blunder for Umpire right now. Stone Elf Boy sitting on tons of resource. I feel like, uh, I feel like he should probably just bring that, bring that Chimera or something back onto the field, but perhaps saving up for something uh, a little bit larger. Oh, the Catachin Bomb not going off right there. I would have expected he would have just blasted that right on top of those Guardians. Nice looking grenade, oh, making those Ogrens hesitate there on the trace and uh, pushing him right off the field. So Umpire's sitting on just a few VPs right now, but uh, and and losing quite a bit of stuff there. Lost two of his uh, two of his Guardian squads, lost two Falcons. Stone Elf Boys lost a good bit as well, but sitting on a lot more resource. I feel like right now. And uh, I really think he needs to take advantage of that because it's 2-0 cap. All he really needs to do is hold on to these victory points for just a short time. And uh, he can close this game out. So he's really got to focus on his map control right now, which of course is very difficult against Eldar late game. Especially with these quick, quick Warp Spires and Altark running all over the place. Assault Kit Stormtrooper should be able to do some pretty nasty damage to that Altark, as we're seeing. But there goes the Banish Shield. And uh, those Stormtroopers are pretty much going to have to get out of there, I think. You can see the Warp Spires just shredding into them, spinning their webs of death. And uh, without the support of his infantry, that Commissar is going to be a lot less tanky as well. So uh, this is really still anybody's game. Uh, the next engagement or two is going to decide it as the VPs are down under 100 for both sides. Ogren's flanking in on this Bright Lance weapons team. Uh, you're seeing the war Warp Spires again kind of engage a little bit too close there and losing a few members. Uh, of course, the Executioner Cannon does do friendly fire, so that actually worked out and did some damage to the, uh, to the Guardsmen as well. But wasn't quite worth the cost of a few Warp Spiders. Meanwhile, Umpire is still not going Tier 3, decided to get himself a Wraith Lord Walker. Uh, both players down to under 50 points now. And uh, the Warlock's just doing everything in his power to just run around the map and cap these spread out victory points. A grenade going down on these Guardsmen and causing some pretty nasty damage right there. It looks like uh, looks like Stone Elf Boy was not paying attention. Uh, Stone Elf Boy now repurchasing some Catachin Devils, but it's a 3-0 cap against Stone Elf Boy. Uh, he really has nothing up top to cap. He really should have sent that Commissar up top here to uh, cap the top victory point. There's 10 VPs left. I don't think... Uh, Stone Elf Boy is going to get it despite having some excellent engagements here, right here at the end. And, uh, wow, that is it. With 34 VPs left and, uh, two Falcons down, Umpire managed to finally secure this game and take it out. You can see the Commissar was trying to get in on this point, but a bit too late. Uh, Ogrens were a bit slow on the cap there, and wow, uh, oh, and I love this scene over here. This is kind of, this kind of sums up the whole match. Uh, this lone warlock with his whole guardian squad destroyed standing defiantly in front of a superior power right now uh, umpire losing a lot of stuff there but regaining that infamous eldar map control towards the end there 
and uh, despite never pushing into Tier 3 and being behind in tech, uh, managed to put on quite a show and quite a few maneuvers there uh, towards the end. There was one particular engagement taking out the two vehicles in the Guardsman squad that uh, really brought him back into the game and uh, managed to put him in a position for victory. So anyways, that's Umpire. Now you've seen him. He's not even familiar with Imperial Guard, and he managed to pull that match out, uh, even with the Falcons uh, going down to those Stormtroopers a couple times there. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be plenty more where that comes from, and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>